Alrighty, boys. I've heard you guys. A few of you guys want to see how to strap things and whatnot. Um, guys, as far as wrapping up the access, everyone has their own idea and way of doing it. Bottom line is, as long as you're going down the road and this thing ain't 10 feet long, you're good. Um, this guy does it the way I do it. Besides this part, this part's gonna get you. Oh, I'm tr I'm trying to. I'm trying to do this as lazy as possible so I don't have to undo everything, but I guess we're going to have to show you a little bit of undoing. Uh, you see how, you can see how this uh, strap is going in through the top. I mean, you can see how it's going in, right? Well, then you can see how it's coming out. I personally don't like this idea because when it comes time to undo this, and if your ratchet's a little on the rusty side or old, you're going to be fighting it, and it's just, it's not a good setup. I like to uh, go through, you know, in and out. Does that make sense to you guys? And then start ratcheting. This guy came in, pulled it back up over here, held it, and started ratcheting. There's nothing wrong with this. It's just a personal preference. It's going to hold it. This is a better setup for strength, I think it is. But for convenience and quickness, just one in, out, and hold it out here, you know, and start ratcheting. So you got the access coming out through here. And the biggest key is when you come to open it to undo this, you uh, you guys all know. I mean, if you're if you're looking at how to strap this, you know how to work a ratchet. You unlock it all the way. Now oh, what the heck? See, you see how it unlocks all the way and it loosens. Well, you're gonna be fighting all this crap. Even if you yank on this right now, you're not gonna fully unwind this thing. I mean, this guy's lucky. He doesn't have much on here. But you guys following along what I'm trying to tell you here? So if the tail end would be out here, I would unlock it, yank on it, okay? And this thing would have been fully free. Man, I wish I had a tripod so I could put my camera down. But let me try to show you this. So if I were to uh, undo this guy's mess, and everyone has their own way of doing it, as I said, it really doesn't matter how, they, how you wrap it up, as long as it works. So you see the problem here? Now, if this thing would have been a little bit rustier, you would not have most of the unwind. You you know, this guy has what, 45 or a 90? He has a 90. To where if this thing was completely through on an unlock, you would just yank it from here and come back with the strap, okay? So it'd be nice and straight. And then you'd come in, grab it by the handle, and move it out. So with this hand, you'd hold it. And on this one, you'd start feeding it out. And the, shoot you start feeding it out end of story easiest thing to do i don't know why people do it this way i mean this guy has new ratchets maybe that's why he's doing it right now and then once they get old they, he'll do it the other way so now for him to undo this thing i mean you have to I mean, you could still pull on it it's just a pain in the neck i don't know why people do it even a brand new ratchet i mean right now if this was done the way i would have done it i could have done it one hand i would have grabbed it and whoop, off we go okay my pet peeve, my right hand man does it this way too, and I don't know why he does it. Anyways, next thing is when you do these, I like them like this. Quit blowing up the internet saying you're gonna get violations, yada yada. We've been doing it for eight years, no one's giving us crap about it or grief. Yes, if a load is sticking out past the rails, you will get in trouble, but I don't know, for some reason, they don't throw a fit about these. So that's the way I do it, okay? So when you come around, see the, the idea here? When you come around, all the all that all that stress is going to be right here but you have something circular now if you were to do it like this not only are you messing around with it you always got to keep a ten, you know tension on it because as soon as you loosen up and it drops out and off you go swearing at this thing so not only is that an issue but you also got all the stress right here on the corner and you're going to go through straps a lot quicker guys now as far as folding these over like so guys excuse my video work it is crap so you got this you got the hook come in flip it around like that voila and off this is the way i like to do this the way i like to see my guys do it because they go through straps a lot less the whole flipping of that of the hook is a big deal when it comes when it comes to this side now you see how he hasn't flipped so he came in did the flip grabbed his roll well i mean grabbed the strap with his left hand grab the access 
strap which would have been still in a roll if it was rolled up not you know pig pen driver like some guys like to do make a mess out of their straps he would toss it over the load with his left or right hand you get what i'm saying so you come in hook up here you got a roll imaginary roll oh, what the frick i might as well show you guys doing one's doing all right right paul here bear with me So, if you just try to play this game and throw this over your load, as soon as you go on the other side, you're going to have this kind of crap. You get the idea? You're going to be one pissed off guy. You always got to have tension on it, so it ain't going to work, guys. You ain't going to be ain't going to be peaceful. So what you do is do like that, snug it up, and throw your load up. Well, let's do it the other way around. Nope, now nah, nah, I'm not doing it right. See what happens when Paul doesn't hot shot for a while? Nah, that's your best bet right here. That's the way you want to do it in this situation. See what happens? It loosens up nothing. So you do this with your left hand. You hold the strap. Keep it, you know, in control. And then with your right hand, which I would show you, but I can't because I'm holding the camera, you'd grab this and throw it over your load. And when... When you come back around on the other side to start ratcheting, I mean, this is how it's going to sit, you know, more or less, something like this. And, you, you know, you snug it. You snug up all your straps. I mean, the way I do it, snug them all up. Come around, you know, come out the side. Make sure sometimes in a blue moon you'll have something, like, really odd. Fix it up. I mean, you still got a little bit of slack, not a whole lot. It usually comes down to, you know, having a strap come in like that or like that. So you come in, strain them out, come back up, you know, go around. Tighten them down and do your loop de loop. Okay. Um, I do not know why this driver didn't use chains. I prefer chains over straps. I highly advise my guys to use chains over straps. I guess for whatever reason, for whatever reason, he decided straps was good enough for this load. Uh, I don't like it. Uh, but I'm not gonna make a big deal out of it because it's not that. I mean, it's crucial, but it's not that crucial in this load. So he used straps good for him. It works for him. And the day, he's the one responsible. And if he really screws up, he could screw up his life, if you guys get the idea here. You hit something dead on, and that, if that thing comes flying into your back, it ain't going to be good. So always think of that. Chains over straps, but you can't always use chains. In this case, chains would have been perfect, and I don't know why he did it. I don't like this setup. For one reason, because when you start tightening, one side's loose and the other side is tighter. And um, this is half of the process. The way I like to do it, man, I'm, this guy's gonna get a little bit of grief from me. This is not the way I like to do it. You see how this this strap is pulling this way, and this strap is pulling this way. I know you guys are gonna say Paul quit nitpicking, but I don't like that. I like it when you know you're pulling inward. So this one's pulling in. And then instead of here, you put it here. Because at the end of the day, this is the one pulling the strap in. So you guys follow along with what I'm saying. So I would have done is put the strap on this side. So when I go to tighten it, they're working with each other. The body is going to jump around, move around a little, but your wheels aren't going to go anywhere. So another thing, what I was trying to underline here that I don't like. Uh, we have car straps and guys tried them and they loved them, they hated them. Bottom line is the best way to do it in my book. And I'm 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 open book with the guys, and if they really want them straps, they could have them. But at the end of the day, I have a bunch of those straps in my container and no one's using them, so that tells you something. I like to come in. Sorry guys, I'm confusing as heck, but just fall, you know, be with me here for a minute. Hook up, go around, you know, go around the strap, drop it here, you know, you got a big spool of strap. Hook up my ratchet, place it here, and then come out, you know, straighten out my strap, feed it through. But the way I like to do this part is twist these. I don't know if I'm saying or not twist them, interlock them. So the way it would go is I would have a strap, go through here, follow me along, come out, and then I would loop it around this strap. So then you got this uh, looping effect, 
if you guys go back on my video where you you, you could see my mercedes in the cadillac being a toad look careful on one of the sides of the cars they're like this and the other side they're interlocked well my buddy was helping me so he ended up doing it like this and i did the interlock thing and then end of the day he's like oh now i get it why you do that so the interlock what is it gonna do it's uh gonna do two things slider slim chances okay there's slim chances the strap's gonna go anywhere the fact that you already got a lock um, uh, idea going in but s still it's gonna help with that movement a little bit because what it does is evens out the tension on the both straps uh i'm very nitpicky as y'all can figure out now this setup is gonna put a lot of stress on this side so what it's what's what it's doing it's pulling this wheel out i don't like that um end of the day because it's a locked in position it's going to be pulling it down but still it's biased on this side where if you had the whole loop -de deal like i'm talking about it would be evenly tucking it down okay okay enough with this car thing uh, i think i said everything i need to say uh another thing on the cars leave room for them to move this setup is the safest way for a car to get strapped down you know if you do rims you could scratch them i mean you see how he the strap went in there you got to be careful not to go well you can't see you see how it's going low i don't like that particular like he probably took a look at it make sure there's no hoses he's not pushing or rubbing up against hoses i like to keep them right about here so the the back strap goes through there and you're not stressing anything out on that guys be considered that's all it comes down to this thing is gonna move i mean i don't know man that's a little too close for me honestly i don't know why he came so close i'm i'm guessing what he ended up doing is putting this load on and he's like oh crap i got a car to fill up pick up so then he didn't want to overhang in the back probably and but the gap that he has there is doable but what you want to do rule of thumb just give it a foot you know what is that six inches give it a foot because it's going to move a little i like trucks because on the trucks you know either you pull out you know pull here and then pull there or whatever you do you're working against each other you have the chains working against each other but you grab the frame so that way the, the suspension you know tight everything's tight on it the body ain't moving ain't nothing moving on the truck so those you could put like literally inches away and you'll be fine with this now i wish i had a chain to show you but i don't all these all these goosenecks are empty i'm actually missing quite a few goosenecks this weekend these guys are working over the weekends but anyways the way i would have done this uh the way i would have done this load if it would me is i would have come in okay guys you got to be imaginary okay <laughs> i would have fed a chain coming through here okay and come out through here and hook it on right here yes dot ain't gonna harass you for that don't worry i mean they haven't harassed us yet so we're good once again if you have something sticking out past these rails it's always a load that they you know throw a fit about chains they never gave us grief okay a lot of guys are going to say go into these pockets yeah there ain't nothing wrong i just like this whole loop -de deal there it's here for a reason so once again put your chain on the deck and feed the hook down through here and into here and grab it like that so you're putting all the tension on the bottom of this tube at the same time it's round so it's not gonna it's not gonna corner like this would or that one you know like a guy would say hey just hook it on through here well yeah you got a sharp hook it's just i'm nitpicking i know but i just like doing this way I've, it's worked for me so now you got this end hooked and you got all this chain here throw it on the other side and do the exact same thing i like to leave the slack on the driver's side so i can see the slack for the the slack you know guys you know you guys know what i'm saying you know it's, it's not like the, the chain's gonna fit perfectly on tight so you can leave all your slack here you're gonna come in with a binder grab it you know grab it from here and then you got a pile of chain here slack and, and and grab the other end through here and bind it down or i should say from up down i like to leave it on the driver's side so i could see so does this guy you could tell that he likes leaving it on the driver's side so he could see his ratchets and all that stuff so that's the way you do it i mean if you guys really want to i just don't want to work today it's freaking saturday man and i'm doing videos for you guys so you should be grateful enough if you guys really want me to do it i'll show you how to do chains but that's really straightforward stuff and on chains guys don't try to be a hulk always have a cheater bar with you because if you don't have the the bar with you piece of pipe well maybe that's why this guy ain't using his chains 
lost his pipe. Nope, it's in here. You guys get the idea. It starts from here and goes all the way to here. So, I mean, you got... Oh, shoot, what's that? That's probably one, two, three. Three feet. Now, give or take, three feet cheater bar. You really need that, guys, because you ain't going to tie down nothing without a cheater bar. You ain't Mr. Hulk to put all that on a little leverage binder like this. Let me show you the binders. I use really simple things right here. You know, open, close type of deal. All right, well, it got me dirty now. So anyways, oh, I did forget to show you guys how, to, how I do these straps as far as taking care of the slack here. So, man, I gotta find me a pod somewhere. Yeah, I'll try to explain this once again. Um, well, heck with that. Let me let me undo this because I don't like it. Because it messes with this as well. So if it, this would have been done the way I like it, this would be a, a walk in the park. Now I gotta really tug on it. Obviously, it's not the way he does it. I'm pretty sure he's not gonna sit there and look like an idiot tugging on this thing for quite some time. Just undo it through here and call it good, but. Um, this is the, this, you know, from the part I pull, start pulling on this, this is the, this is the part where it's just, it's costing you more time. I'm all about efficiency, you know? So the whole going through the top deal, instead of just leaving it straight forward, well, yeah, I guess it's not leaving it straight forward. What did he do? Did I not pull on it enough? Something's off there. It might have been a, a choo-choo and not pulled on it enough. But might as well show you. So you got your strap, right? Strained out. You don't really want to look like a rookie strain. All right, boys, I'm back. I, my camera shut down. Anyways, let me show you. So the difference between leaving it down here or having it fed back up. So now when I unlock it, well, there's really not much left there. A lot of times when you when you have uh, items that compress and you need to have a big spool of uh, strap here, you're going to be fighting for a while. So all you do is you come in, unlock it like that, and just yank on it. And it just unwinds this whole spool for you, which is really convenient. Then at that point, I just come in, undo this, and just yank on it. And it's just a walk in the park. Cool? Simple, right? So anyways, I'm going to put you on pause, hook this thing up real quick, and then show you what to do with the access. Alright, once you snug it up, you just want to do loops. Okay, that's the way I do it. That through the bottom, you got loops. So, something of this nature, or this size. Cool? I mean, look. I mean, so you, you have some kind of comparison, about a foot and a half loops. So bear with me here for a sec. And we're back at it. So we ended up with the axis right here, okay? Sort of neat loops. Then you, you throw it in here and pull it through here. See what I'm doing? And just tug on it. Once again, guys, it's a half-assed deal because I'm one-handed. So that's what you got. See? Really simple. And you come in here, leave yourself a little bit, you know, a little bit of snack, but snack, <laughs> slack. Make sure this is nice and even, so it's centered. Then you lock it in. That's locked in. You see that? It ain't. It ain't going anywhere. Then you you have a nice neat stack, and then consider air. So air is gonna be blowing it back here. I usually like to put it in front, so this way the air will just be pulling on it. When it'll be pulling on it, it's interlocked. Where if you put it here, it has a chance of snapping it out. It's just preference. Nothing to deal. No big deal. So now, when you're going down the road, you're not going to have a 10-foot strap hanging behind you. Now, you see how he pushed... Oh, frick, I can't even talk anymore. Corner protectors. That's what they're serving as, corner protectors. Not only is your strap going to hate you, but DOT is going to get you for that, too. you got to have a nice, safe load. Anyways, boys, as good as it gets, that's what you got. And uh, a little side note. If you guys get a bunch of bunch of pallets okay and every pallet the law for some reason says that you got to have two straps per item 
and I don't remember if they updated this or not, but DOT, what they want to see, if you see, if you have a bunch of pallets, and they're neatly stacked, meaning they're all stacked up against each other, and they're pushing up against each other, meaning if if this pallet doesn't move, there's no way for this pallet to move. I mean, imaginary pallets, okay? So what you want to do is you want to throw two straps here, and if they're not neatly stacked next to each other, you could do one pallet, or one strap, a, one strap, a, a pallet until you go all the way back and then on the back one you have to do two straps uh correct me if i'm wrong but i they might have updated the laws but it just works around i'm from the northwest and they never give us crap for that and it, yeah, you'll notice truckers do that all the time so don't worry you know you could stack up quite a few pallets and we usually carry you know 14 strap with us and that's more than what we need but there's no way you know 14 straps is going to work for you if you got to do you know like two 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 and you're like crap dude i'm out of straps so anyway so bottom line conclusion you got a bunch of pallets on your deck move them all the way forward or backwards or whatever you can do i say move them all the way forward if you can leave them up against this throw a couple straps over on this first set and then well i'm talking set because you're gonna you have room for typically it's two pallets sometimes it's one 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 you know but depending on the weight any way you go pallet pallet that's one strap per pallet it would equal i mean set of pallets there set of pallets here imagine guys imagine all this flatbed being with pallets so this set of pallets can only get away with one as long as they're you know leaning up against each other and just work your all the way back so two on the front two on the rear the ones in the middle could get away with one that's all i'm trying to say this video is very confusing most of you guys are going to be confused as heck but for those guys that are in it and understand what they're looking for, this video is going to be very valuable for them. All right, I'm done. God bless you all, and uh, enjoy your weekend. That's what I'm going to try to do from now on. Bye.